hello and welcome to this mysql video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us how to create a user and then we're going to grant them some privileges and test whether the privileges are working or not so let's get started now basically a user is a record in the user table of the mysql server which contains login information the privileges that is associated to the account and the host name information. So let's see how can we create these users and grant them some privileges and then we can test some of these privileges out. Now you can do that in the MySQL workbench as the DBA that is as the database administrator or you can even use the command line okay but I prefer to use the command line to perform all this operation. So let's get started now what i need to do is to log in as the dba so to do that i'm going to type in my sql and i'm going to type in dash u and the user is going to be root dash p click enter then i'm going to type in the password and click enter you can see welcome to my sql monitor and you can see that i've been able to log in as the dba now let's select now when i come here you can see I have all these schemas. I'm going to work with this. I'm going to work with this sales schema. Now, when I expand, you can see I have this table called F sales table. Now, I'm going to come back to the command line and let's say I want to fetch the first 10 rows in the F sales table of the sales schema. I'm going to type select start from sales.fsys and I'm going to use the limit keyword. So, the limit is going to give me the first 10 rows. Put in a semicolon click enter and that's amazing so we can see all the columns and the first 10 rows in the um, f sales table now let's create our first user and we'll call the user marketing and it will be identified by password called marketing so to do that i'm going to write a simple create user statement so let's say create user marketing identified by marketing now the marketing is a string so it has to be inside single quote so single quote semicolon now inside the single quote i'm going to call it market so this is going to be the password to log in now when i click enter you can see the query is okay zero rows affect now let's exit from the dba and then we're going to log in into the marketing user and then we're going to use the password so i'm going to type in exit semicolon click enter you can see it's telling me bye so i'm no more in the dba okay so let's log in into the marketing so i'm going to type in my sql now the user is going to be marketing and the password is going to be marketing all in lowercase now when i click enter i can see i have been able to successfully gain access as the marketing user that's amazing okay now let me come to the workbench here. now when i come to the home click on this home tab you can see we only have the local host that is the dba which is root as user and the local host name is 3306 now we can create a connection to the marketing user to do that just click on this plus sign and then we're going to see this set up new connection now you can call your connection whatever name you want that is not a problem so i'm going to call it marketing you can even marketing underscore department now the connection mode is going to be standard now we have this tcp that is transport control protocol forward slash ip okay this is very important to be in standard and in the parameters the host name is this 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 3306 now we need to provide the user now the username is going to be marketing that we created not too long marketing and of course click on this store in vault password now the password is still the same thing as marketing now when i click ok and we need to test the connection now when i click on that you can see successfully made the mysql connection and we can see the information related to this connection host name port user and the ssl so click ok and when i click ok we'll be able to establish a connection now just double click on it 
Okay, so you can see now we are now in the marketing department connection. Now you can see that under the schemas, there is nothing here. Now, this is because this newly created user has not been granted any privileges. Okay, so you can perform anything. Let's say we want to select this um, F6 table that is located in the sales schema. Now, when I come here and I type in select star from sales dot f sales now even the intelligence is not working because this user do not have any privileges thus far but let's just see and i put in a semicolon when i control enter i can see the error message select command denied to user marketing at local host for the table called f sales now this user do not have any privilege to select the table now you can grant the privilege in the dba that is the local instance here or you can even do that in the you know, what's it called or you can even do that in the command line here now okay so let, let's say i want to select all the same thing from here the same column sales dot f sales and I put in a com and semicolon. I click enter. You can see select command denied to user marketing at local host for table called F sales. Now that's no problem. Now I'm going to exit from here and log in as the DB that's in the database administrator. So my SQL and dash U and the user is going to be root dash p then i'm going to punch in my password as the database administrator click enter you can see welcome to my sql and that's amazing so let me just scroll down okay so the first privilege we want to grant to them as i said earlier on you can see here we do not have any schema because there is no privilege that has been granted to the user thus far so i'm going to grant the select privilege on the sales schema and the f system so i'm going to just write grant select on sales dot f sales two now the grantee is marketing okay so put in a semicolon and click enter you can see the query is okay zero rows affected now this user has now been granted the select privileges okay when i come back here and under the marketing department connection i can right click and when i refresh to see what happens i can see the sales schema and when i expand expand i can see the fc's table now this is because the select privileges has been granted to the newly created user now when i rerun this control enter you can see i can see all the records that's amazing i can even use the limit so let's say 10 the first 10 row and then can control enter we have the first 10 records i can close this panel at the bottom here click on this so that's gone and when i come back here okay i can log in log out rather i'm going to exit as the dba and then they can see buy and let's log in as marketing so i'm going to type in my sql dash u and the user is going to be marketing dash p and the password is the same thing as marketing and when i click enter i can see i am now successfully connected okay let me scroll down now i can even select the same data from here select from sales now the right convention is to always put in the schema name first then the name of the table that's what i love to do and that's the best thing to do so f sales i'm going to use the limit keyword let's say i want to limit to the first 10 rows click enter that's amazing so i can see the first 10 rows let me scroll down okay let's say i want to describe the table so i'm going to say describe sales dot f sales semicolon click enter you can see eight rows and i can even see the data types the first one is the int data type integer date varchar and double you can see it contains it can contain no value no primary key no default and so on and so forth so let me scroll down okay now you can even check the privileges that is associated to the newly created user by typing show grants 
so semicolon click and type and see now grant for marketing apartments now the only grant that is given thus far is grant select on sales.fcs to marketing apartments now what i'm going to do is to exit from this marketing department and log in as the database administrator so i'm going to exit put in a semicolon exit okay bye and let's log in as the root user that is the database administrator so my sql dash u and the user is root dash p click enter type in my password click enter okay so we've been able to log in let me just scroll down all right so let's write the grant statement so i'm going to grant the to update delete delete and insert on sales dot f sales dot f sales to the grantee now the grantee is marketing user put in the same colon click and type you can see query is okay zero row affected and it took 32 milliseconds that's awesome so i'm going to exit from here and then log in to the marketing department so i'm going to type in my sql let me just scroll down so i can see what i'm doing clearly okay my sql dash u and the user is going to be marketing dash p click enter oops okay so so what i'm going to do let me just log in my sql dash u marketing department dash p click enter and the password is marketing okay click enter okay we've been able to successfully log in as the marketing department okay that's amazing so don't forget we have been we've granted so many privileges now now let's see all the privileges using the show grants okay keyword semicolon click and type and see now we have insert update delete privileges associated with the account including the one we granted initially which is the select okay now what i'm going to do is to update the record again now before i do that let me select the first five rows select star from sales dot f sales limit to the first five row click enter now the first five row now let's update this to ten thousand so let me scroll down okay so i'm going to say update and what i want to update the sales dot f sales table and i'm going to set total equals to one zero 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 and i'm going to use the where clause where product name equals to so single quote i'm going to copy this steady stout ctrl c ctrl v close the single quote and use the and the order id order id equals to one zero four zero 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 put in a semicolon now when i click enter see what happens the query is okay one row affected that's amazing now rows match is one the changes made is one and zero one is that's amazing now let's record this query again and to see the ten thousand update we made okay the transaction we committed so i'm going to say select star from sales dot f sales limit to the first five rows put in a semicolon click enter you can see that's amazing so the update is now affected okay it's been committed okay now when i come back to the my sql workbench i can do the same thing here that's fine let's see now when i come here and i run this query again you can see it's updated absolutely awesome cool okay so if you like this video comment share like and subscribe to this channel because there's a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers